Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Orcast, and we do what we do best, we improvise. We do. And apparently right now I am failing at improvising. Do not invite me onto a show of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Because I just won't talk. Uh, this is that running with Team Orcast. I really would like, would love to see it on the show, Nick. Uh, this is the 25th of October, High World Cologne. Game night kit tournament. It is the final round, the final game. There won't be another game. This is going to be uh, the first game of this round. And we have two new players, Nick. Completely new players. I gave the camera to some uh, new players in our meta here right now. Oh, that's fine. On the left, we have uh, this beautiful Hawaii shirt. We have, uh, we have Marcus here. Is that nah? It, that's nah and brown shields as is uh, because it's so shitty. Oh my god! And black on black, holy cow! Uh, and on the on black on black, no, it's actually dark. Is it dark, dark blue? I blue? think. Yeah. We see Andromeda. Oh man, those shields, those shields are invisible. We have Andromeda. It's William. Both players very new in our meta, and they already begin. Look at this, we, uh, Marcus and Stars. Two cards in front of R&D, R&D, uh, R&D and HQ, and uh, gets the credits. Ice, ice, baby. Eh, the supplier. Wow, the supplier. Supplies. And we see a uh, daily cast on a supplier. Nick, can you tell our listeners who are not familiar with this card as you are uh, what the supplier does? Oh my gosh, the supplier gives us all the cards. <laughs> <laughs> A DHQ interface and an um, compromised employee. So, for a click, host a resource or piece of hardware from your grip on the supplier. When your mm. turn begins, you may install a hosted card, lowering the cost by two. The supplier's uh, flavor text is, I can get you anything and guarantee the best prices in town. It's, that's a really nice card. I really like the supplier. Uh, it's a bit of a slow card, but now look at this. I mean, he gets a HQ interface for two credits. He gets a da- daily cast for one credit. Yeah, I he- like that it is uh, essentially, what is it, personal workshop for... Uh, it's yeah, like it's a, been, it's, a steady it's personal It's like a criminal workshop. personal workshop. He yeah. ins- decides to get a compromised employee instead, and he runs on R&D there, and there is a, a quandary stopping him. He runs on HQ, and there is a pop-up window... And he gets credits now every time. Like that's what employee's comp- uh, employee does. He gets a credit every time the corporation raises an ice. And he has a recurring credit for traces, I think, right? Yes. That's a really good card that nobody's using, but with uh, with supplier now, it's really good because it's so much cheaper. It's, it's like zero now, right? Yeah, it is zero. And then he gets a, the Desperado on everything on the supplier. Man, please don't get tagged. William, don't get tagged, bro. Because if he gets tagged, somebody can trash the supplier. And then somebody might trash supplier. And then uh, the, all those cards would just vanish into nothingness like tears in the rain. Marcus gets a credit. By the way, Marcus, a very, very uh, active player ever since we recorded this video, he actually participates in a, a league. We have now a, a pan-German league where different teams from all over Germany are competing with each other. We're calling this team battles. And of course, for Team team Cologne, it's uh, me, uh, uh, Gerion, and Marcus. William, on the other hand, installs a Desperado from the supplier and runs on that uh, Scarter, which was a Jackson. The Jackson is being trashed, but William is down to one credit only now. He maybe should get back, get out his daily casts soon, because this money will take some time to get into his hand from daily casts. Do you or don't you agree, Nick? All I can hear is Desperado in my head. I I know. I, I imagine if you were a person inside your head, it would be just you know Desperado sing, uh, playing all day long. You know, remember that show Herman's Head? No. All of the people inside of my head. Ooh, he scores. Oh 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 oh. This is breaking news, right? It was breaking news. Wait a minute. He just scored breaking news. I hope. If he scored it from his hand, that's nice. But if he had played it on on the board, he could have trashed the supplier here. Yeah. But he decided not to do this. He did so not something that happened. 
another compromised compl employee, am I right? Yeah, another compromised com employee. And we see... Why is there a parasite on his identity? I wonder too. I think that's a discard pile that he created there. William is a new player. And I think that he was nervous about this tournament right now. I think it was his first tournament. tournament. But William is an excellent player. I mean, he, he's like such a boss. Like he said, I want to play this game. I'm going to buy every card there is on eBay for 100 bucks. <laughs> And it's like, I mean, 100 bucks a lot. I mean, you be, have to be dedicated. But on the other hand, it's like for all the cards that exist, that's actually a pretty good deal. So I respect William for doing that. And he came in like the first time he came in on our regular like, meeting. He had like this decks from, from, the, from the internet, like net decks. And he like blew everybody's mind. <laughs> so he spiked it. Yeah, so we have um, we have Marcus playing the lag time here. I like his style. I like Marcus' style. So all the ice is plus one strength now, and uh, that current will go away if uh, William uh, plays his own uh, current or if he steals an agenda. Meanwhile, William decides to get out his daily casts. The supplier. I mean, do you think what kind of supplier do you have to have that creates daily casts? That creates daily casts? I mean, that supplier just supplied you with a daily cast. Well, we get a lot of uh, emails about, you know, joining this or that. Uh, um, what are those things called? YouTube communities? Yeah. I imagine it's like that. Yeah. So there are okay, people that so make their money off of that thing. We saw around on R&D. Oh, I, I understand now what happened with the parasite, the, the um, quandary was parasite. So now R&D is completely unprotected. So... William expo exploits this and runs on R&D there, and, but he sees a card that uh, is nothing of importance. Really dangerous situation for Marcus right now. Um, William gets out um, a Codegate Breaker, the Gordian Blade. Very popular Codegate Breaker from the Shapers. What is it doing in Andromeda here right now, Nick? What? It just had to belong. You gotta play mind games as a runner. So like, Why is that there? I don't get it. I don't get it. In the future, pe people are not playing Minecraft. They're playing Minecraft. Uh, we see... Man, all these cards I've, I, I have not seen played before. Well, you know, I don't think I've ever played against somebody who uses Near Earth Hub. Not even on Octagon. Hmm, interesting. Yes, yeah, hmm, interesting. We see um, market accounts being played and clicked. Uh, we already had that card very, way, way back. Uh, it's a very, very difficult to trash asset that gives you one credit every turn, but mm -hmm. you have to load it up with credits with clicks, so it's not as good as a pet campaign, and it's very, very expensive to trash. Yeah. But it's great for an NEH because it just creates another server there. And I see there is an advance. Is that true? Is that a card that has been advanced three times? It looks like it's been advanced three times. That's crazy. Uh, Marcus is preparing for the run, for the imman imminent run. Drawing cards, oh man, like his deck is completely invisible in this. Third click, running on the advanced card. It is, oh, it is an NAPD. Now, now William can score this. He doesn't have the monies. And we see a crash place being installed on the supplier. Man, the supplier is doing, doing a hell of a job right now, installing something every turn. Almost. And uh, g Marcus gets a click and scores the NAPD here. Up to three credits now, uh, three agenda points now. Zero credits though, and R&D all exposed. Oh no, he installs a... Can he even do that? Yeah, he can. He installs a card there, but with zero credits, it's probably a pop-up window if you can res it. So not a big danger for, uh, for William right now. William is just... This game is crazy, Nick. This game is crazy. I really like this personal, or not personal workshop. The supplier, yeah, I really supplier. love supplier. So William installs a crash space for free now. That's nice. But I never really play criminals. Oh, maybe I should. That's, that could be a good uh, Andromeda to get into Andromeda. I think Andromeda with, with a supplier is really good because you get all those cards you can put on supplier just like William did in his first turn. Yeah, so you get rid of all of your cards. And yeah, it's a very good way to get getting rid of your cards, and just it just gives you so much money. Like every turn, it gives you two 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 credits for free, and you get all these cool cool toys that you would otherwise never afford, like never bother installing. 
he, so he ran an R&D, but there was still nothing. Very bad luck with Excess Yeast. He should have uh, an Excess uh, soon. He wants to run there, uh, but he uh, realized that he didn't can't actually break the wall of static there. Because he only has a code kit breaker. Really bad install here. The code kit breaker is not doing anything right now. Oh, another supply being discarded. And a uh, special order being discarded. Special Why? Why? Why, William? Would you... I mean, you, you, you need to. You just... need to... <sighs> I think William forgot his daily casts. <laughs> And that current is there, man. Current is, is doing doing some good job right now. But actually, it's not doing a good job at all. It's, uh, we don't have any taxing ice. It's a very interesting splash into in any age. All right, now William remembers his daily casts. Let's see what he does. He, he does. He could. Uh, oh, he had another. Wow. Special okay. All right. And there's a Corona, as expected. As expected. He's getting himself set up, but it may be too little too late. Ex I expect big butts and I cannot lie. And installing it. Can you pay for this? Did, did he pay for the special order? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, what's happening anymore. He just installed a Corona, no problem. Just second <laughs> click. And peek. I like that you. his deck is camouflaged. Yeah, it's like completely invisible. <laughs> I crushed the blacks too hard, Nick. I just crushed the blacks too hard here. <laughs> it's the deepest blacks. Deepest blacks. My head is like a shark's fin. Uh, installing a daily cast on that supplier. Man, just installing all the stuff on the supplier. The supplier gets all the stuff. And if w if Marcus was smart, he would sc have scored the... Uh, I mean, he's, he's a smart guy anyway, but really cool would have been to install the... Um, um, oh, that's how we got three advanced encounters on it. There was a, a Mushi no Shin. Uh, um, uh. If he installed a breaking news uh, just right there and he advanced it twice to score it uh, next run, then he could get a tag on the William and, and trash that supplier. That would be huge. But instead, he reses marked accounts. That's nice too. And clicks it immediately. All those marks accounts, Nick. Mark. Oh, hi, hi marks Mark. accounts. You're tearing uh, me apart, Lisa. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. There's a musical version of this. I know. I know. So good. So we see a daily cast being installed from the supplier. Running on R&D. Pound at that R&D. That's not looking good. I mean, it's funny because Marcus is actually leading in agenda points, but William is just this incredible supplier monster driven here. <laughs> supplier driven monster. But he's not really, I don't know, he, he doesn't seem like he's running that much. Yeah, all, all those toys are actually not doing too much to, for him. And he has some, he had some excesses on R&D right now, but he just never saw an agenda there. And I always, when I'm in a situation as a runner myself, I always think about, does the, agenda, does the corporation actually run agendas? Is their deck actually legal? Anyway, <laughs> uh, short gamble here, really, uh, really helping with the economy right now. And oh man, nice, there is a uh, fairy. A fairy solves all the problems of a William right now. He can break every ice that he encounters right now. All of the, at least all of the main types. But um, breaking ice, I think, is not a big problem for him right now. The problem is getting the multi access he needs. And I, 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 there is an HQ interface, man. There is an HQ interface. So why don't you install it? <sighs> William. There's so many things. So many things. Come on. You could just install an HQ interface and be like, run on HQ. There must be a Linux on HQ, right? 
and there is I, like Marcus using the system of using dice and for, for videos we see the obvious disadvantage we just can't tell how many dice there are <laughs> this is me making a fart sound <laughs> well I think that you can uh, but the dice have to be uh, really large yeah you have to l l use the bigger dice we see that it's we, we see this five it's now uh, two uh, four credits because he just rest the uh, quandary there and uh, William runs on R&D there so uh, breaks the quandary with a with a golden blade no problem and then afterwards oh uh, not good that's a that's a enigma not good Marcus yeah. you should have done better that's not good that's all that's just 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 you know just road bumps it's just road kill for the <laughs> for the golden blade here and oh man this is just Jackson Howard get rid of that hard run again bro He does. He listened to you, Nick. <laughs> oh, it's not exactly roadkill because it's all leg worked up. Oh, leg time work, oh. not leg work. Leg timed up. Uh, he wants to see that card again. What is that? Oh, it's an RSVP. Nice. I yeah. like it. I like RSVP. And my favorite card from NBN. One of my favorite cards from NBN. It's like we have all the stuff that makes you pay money, but now you can't. <laughs> No, you can't, bro. Just can't. Just can't. You can't even. Marcus is having some ridiculous luck here right now. That current should have been off the table years ago. No, no love for William. Getting two credits from the marked accounts. I think William. Could it be that William forgot his the credits he got from the? I think he's forgotten several times at this point. <sighs> it's, a, it's a complicated deck. I mean, but I really would, would love to see the, the deck list. Oh man, third marked accounts. What? This is crazy balls. You're clicking it immediately. Now he will get three credits from the marked accounts. And will we trash that? I mean, come on, right? Come on. It's like five credits to trash this? Ugh. Unless you have something like, you know, Imp or something, those will stay. <laughs> Or unless you're a wizard, Nick. Are you a wizard, Nick? I think that wizard should make a resurgence. I'm going to uh, I'm going to pursue this agenda. Yeah. I am a uh, WJW, a wizard justice warrior. Yeah. It's a uh, Nick is advancing this agenda hard. He mushed <laughs> notion this agenda. He wants to score it immediately. Too fast, too wizard. What? And we see it run on archives. There's just a wow. What kind of deck is Marks playing here? We see uh, um, splashed in uh, Trick of Lights here. Hmm. So I guess it works well with Moshi no Shin. So I guess we're going to see traps. Run on RD. William wants to see a card. William, HQ is the better place for you to run right now. Oh. Oh, but that's just a wrap around. Rap, 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 rap. We haven't done that in forever. Oh my god, thank you, Marcus. Thank you, thank you, Marcus. Thank you, William. And we see a Mr. Mr. Lee is insulting on a, on a supplier. Man, that supplier is super busy right now. <laughs> I love Any it. supplier should be super busy if they're a good supplier. If, if William just does one thing, I mean, he can doesn't score agendas right now, but if he does one thing, it's that making that supplier happy. That supplier is like, man, Andromeda is my best customer. <laughs> You're my best customer. This lady in a night dress comes every time. And I can always supply her with some stuff. All right, we open up new server. Do Marcus draw a card? Draw a card, Marcus. Don't, he didn't draw a card, Nick. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna post this in, in the comment section. You guys. You guys, wrecked. You, you, I hope you got. You have my back here. Yeah. <laughs> wrecked is cringing so hard right now, and it's not at me. <laughs> ah. We see uh, Mr. Lee being installed with a supplier uh, by Marcus and uh, no, by, by William. And William immediately uses Mr. Lee's ability. He sees the top two cards from his R and D uh, from his deck, and he can choose to put one of them on the bottom. Now he runs on R and D, and there, gah, there is guard of all of the things. There is guard. 
<laughs> of all the things there is guard. Man, I can't handle all of these ice. Make them go the same way. <laughs> William, William remembered. William remembered to get the two clicks from his imp uh, uh, imp uh, improvised employee. Uh, but uh, he, he doesn't break. He doesn't sacrifice his fairy, even though he can break the guard, but he doesn't. So he runs on HQ instead. William, why haven't you installed this HQ interface? This could have been so much better with the HQ interface. It's just two credits. You can't afford this, William. You can't anyway. afford this, bro. Well, in the bed, and what oh, does say? It HQ. Just He's on the board. He's on the board. So now maybe William will reconsider. But now that he sees that there are indeed engineers on HQ, and uh, Marcus really doesn't have a server to score, uh, to score any agenda, so yeah, uh, they're bound to accumulate, right? Rapper, 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 rapper. That rep reparant is doing jack shit right now. Yeah, well, it's doing a good job in his hand and in his R and D. Yeah, that's true. Don't install it, man. That reparant is a magnet. Oh, it is a finger magnet. Uh, so I guess now he drew the. Is that is that how this works? Every time you install a card in your server, ah, I don't know. Anyway, we, he drew a card and uh, Marcus drew a card there, and he installs. A, this might be a scoring server. We don't know. Monies from daily casts. Andromeda is buried in those cards right now. <laughs> Please help me! I'm underneath here! I'm, I'm, I'm not supposed to be even be here! <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here today! Yeah. Uh, Clerks reference, everybody high five. Mm. 37? Do you want to suck some <laughs> berserker? <laughs> Don't suck any diesel on the way to the parking lot! <laughs> The HQ interface gets out. Oh man, what? But now there's a guard. No! Sacrifice that fairy. You waited out too long, William. What's the matter with you, bro? Get it out of there. Out See, that's the problem. Now you got the HQ interface and now it's too late. Now, now, now William Marcus says like, nope, too late. But he's got the fairy. Still, he can get through. Come on. The HQ interface was not good enough for her. Now he's slamming his guitar. <laughs> Run a boy. Supplier hasn't seen some any stuff. Now, now supplier's running dry. Bad time for supplier, Snick. He invested some bitcoins. Not a good choice. <laughs> he was investing in bitcoins when the Silk Road was uh, discovered and dismantled. Uh, not good. But uh, William does install the security testing, so that's nice. Security testing, ah, uh, it's good in, in Andromeda, but for it doesn't do anything for supplier, man. It's zero cost, not something the supplier wants to see. You want to get those expensive, juicy hardware and resources on supplier. Man, I love William so much for using supplier right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite cards, and I'm trying to Despite make it work. all the problems that he's created for himself... I don't know, he I think he's, he's, he's cool, doing cool every time Marcus raises a nice, he gets the credits, that's already nice, he has all the credits in the world for tags, he just doesn't have any good uh, killer or sentry breaker, which is odd, because that's actually something that the criminals are excelling at. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, running on, um, on security testing and getting the three credits that he needs. And no one has. Oh no! The he proof just selected. Purchase. He just selected the security testing server. And now he's running. All right. So three credits uh, for uh, for a click. That's that's the best. <laughs> that is uh, the actual best. Two credits for security testing and one credit for. Um, oh, fam! There we go. So now, now this is happening, Marcus. What? what? Okay. This is some advanced strategy. <laughs> <laughs> We're both flabbergasted by this choice. <laughs> but why not? He's uh, fanning the wall of static. Because apparently that's the biggest problem right now. He yeah. will break it for one credit, so that's not bad, actually. 
But how's he gonna get through the guard? Oh, I guess he has to pay to get through the guard, but he's only got three credits. I, I guess this is really the most expensive ice at this point at the, at the board. He can break the um, the guard with a fem right now. He cannot fem the guards because they cannot be skipped. And and he, uh, I guess yeah, that's that's a solid choice there because if he fem the. Um, the Enigma, he would have had to pay two credits, and he already pays two credits if he breaks this with uh, with Guardian Blade. So it doesn't really make sense to fem the fem the Enigma. Uh, the ice that ice is really the best choice right now. Really not a great like, breaker to bring bring out at this point. I thought there was a guard at the front of the HQ server. Yeah, but he cannot. The, the ability of guard is that it cannot be bypassed, so he can actually but fem it. Like, you he don't. can fem it, but he cannot break it with a fem. Not, not like this, at least. He can uh. break it as regular sentry. We see it in account life. Anyway. Well, that's good. Although, being... I hope... They are confused about what exactly is happening. Marcus does get a credit for this with the pop-up window. And now, um, uh, William is super rich, but tagged. And he has a lot of resources there. I don't know if it being tagged is a good situation for him. He does have a crash space, so he can remove um, a tag. He has recurring credits to remove the tag, so that's also nice. And I don't, don't think Marcus will actually spend the credits to crash uh, to trash a resource. Will he? Marcus is thinking about this. And you would probably think about this too, Nick. <laughs> I would think a lot about everything. Mm, the, the way you just do. You would probably write like a medium post about this. <laughs> yes. Why I decided not to trash uh, William's resources when he was tagged. And mm. why you shouldn't do either. Well, he has no money. Hmm. Are we, oh, no. His money is the dice over there, isn't it? Yeah, it's three credits at this point. You hussy. Did you just say you pussy? Hussy. Hussy. Why, why hussy? What, what's hussy? Oh, God. You're going to make me define. Let's see. Define hussy. An urban dictionary. Help us here. An You're my only... impudent or immoral girl or woman. Didn't you just call Marcus a woman? Really? That's a... Oh, hold on. Let's see. It also means uh, chicken. Oh, Okay. Yeah, you can see that. Chicken is so tasty. I just ate some chicken today. Oh. <laughs> I don't really get to eat a lot of meat anymore, but it's okay. Uh, so William uh, removes the tag with his recurrent credits from Crash Space, uh, slowly getting rid of those credits, and he knows that Marcus will um, have to spend credits to trash stuff, so he doesn't just care. He just flaunts the, the tags in his face. Around on that server here, it's a pop-up window. Does he want to access is the question right now. We want to know. This is an unusual NBN. Nah. It really is. I have been confused this entire oh, game. Oh, he doesn't access. He decides not to access because he saw it was just protected with a pop-up window, so it must be something that he doesn't actually want to see. This is either the cleverest play or... That would be great if that's an agenda. And he uh, security tests another server and then he removes the second tag. Oh, this was a pop-up window. Oh, no. What am I talking about? It's a pad campaign. Pad campaign. Pad campaign behind a pop-up window. That's a money-making server right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Scoring the breaking news from hand. Up to four. I mean, it's fascinating. Like... The corpus was way exposed for such a long time. What is just scoring? And then William can't just do anything about this, even though he has so many toys at this at this at his side. Supplier gave him all the toys, but none of the teeth. There's just so many cards. I don't even know how you could keep all of this. Man, William is living the dream, the Netrunner's dream, just having all this huge <laughs> rig and everything. I've got everything. <laughs> All right, running on uh, the HQs. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Like he will see two cards from HQs. Ah, there we go, the agendas. I told you, the, the gold Ooh, is in HQ. Two agendas! Whoa! Damn! Catapulting William now. right straight to the winning lane here right now. He just needs one more agenda to win this game. William, 
William, your toys are your strength. Use your toys. He does it again. He thinks there might be a second agenda there. And he already removed two cards from his hand. So just, he will see most of it. Ah, it's the game! Oh my god, out of look nowhere. At this. Look at this. William, you, will, there's one lesson from this game. William, listen to me right now. You have to believe in your toys. I told you, that, that is the key to victory. Use your HQ interface, believe in your toys. That's something, something that we can all take away from this, from this game. Everybody out there, believe in your toys. Uh, man. Do you believe in your toys? You believe in your cats. I believe in my cats. Sure. Right now, for some reason, they're all in here cuddling hard with me. And I think they want food, but I'm like, food. All right, your cats need food, so we will finish this up. This was, um, this is the end of the tournament. What do you think about this tournament, Nick? This tournament was really nice. Uh, I... Your, your meta seems to be changing, and so I'm anxious to see uh, what it would look like now. The meta is changing, but the meta never changes. We see uh, Marcus using a Nazir, and I would have loved to see his Nazir because it was amazing. I played against once, but uh, they ran into time issues, and we usually don't show games that uh, run into time, so sadly yeah. we won't see it right now. Uh, but I hope the seer deck running into time issues. What? No, not impossible. That never uh, and of course, wow, a tennis institute, tennis institute against Nazir. Man, I, that second game seems so much more exciting now. Uh, anyways, we will be back with a second tournament in this in the future. I hope we will tune in uh, when we will be back, and this will be exciting. And Nick, uh, I would like you to come closer to me right now. What are we doing? Come closer to me right now. Okay, come closer. I'm right here. We, yeah. we are together. We are going to hack, hack the planet. Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me.